Welcome to the mining news on Commodity TV. Today with Kuya Silver Carora Resources, Fury Gold Mines, and Max Silver. Kuya Silver announced new discoveries at the Bethania Silver project made during the ongoing surface sampling program. In November 2021, Kuya began a new surface sampling program at the project, taking samples in the Bethania mine area and along strike in the hilltop zone. While these are the initial results of the program, the company expects to continue and expand the sampling program, focusing on areas within a 5 km radius of the Bethania mine. The Carmen Wien, a new discovery with up to 6.26 grams gold per ton, reported from a new structure sampled to date over 300 meters, showed gold bearing mineralization distinct from the traditionally mined silver and base metal veins at Bethania. Anomalous gold grades were traced for approximately 800 meters in a northeast strike direction. Samples from the Wien subparallel to the 12th de Mayo Wien returned up to 2,076 grams silver per ton. Channel samples from the previously mapped Mercedes Wien in the hilltop zone collected over 300 meters along strike returned up to 188 grams per ton silver and 2.33 grams gold per ton. 85 channel samples were collected along the newly identified Carmel Wien on the south side of the Bethania mine area. In addition, 26 samples were collected along a subparallel branch structure referred to as the Carmen Branch Wien or CBV. However, a similar gold dominated Wien was identified in the hilltop zone approximately 800 meters to the east. Both CV and CB, CVB are unusual for the project in that samples from these Wiens contained anomalous silver grades of up to 343 grams per ton, but are consistently mineralized with gold and suggest a second style of mineralization not previously recognized on the project. The 111 samples collected between CV and CVB returned gold grades of up to 6.2 grams gold per ton, with only one sample containing less than 0.1 grams gold per ton. With numerous mineralized veins and structures directly at surface, mapping and sampling of the vein systems continues to provide exciting targets. In the past, rudimentary exploration of the Bethania vein through underground tunneling provided a great starting point. The surface sampling program combined with drilling suggests a larger and more complex vein system with significant growth potential. In addition, now that Kuya has a district sized land package under control, it can repeat the exploration process on several other priority targets nearby. Kuya is very promising. Carora Resources showed record consolidated gold production of over 112,814 ounces gold for 2021 from its Better Hunt and Higginsville mines in Western Australia. Gold sales totaled over 113,628 ounces gold last year. For the fourth quarter 2021, gold production was almost 28,000 ounces and sales were over 28,700 ounces over 28,700 ounces gold. Carora's unaudited consolidated cash balance was $91 million at 31st December 2021, an increase of $4.3 million from 30th September, after capital was invested in new mining operations at Higginsville and Spargos. This is fantastic. This continues Carora's record performance and we view the stock is very positive. Initial work is underway on the second mining operation at Betterhand, an integral part of the company's growth plan. Detailed engineering studies for the expansion of the HGO mill from 1.6 million tons to 2.5 million tons per year are well advanced and contracts for the lengthy work are on schedule to be awarded in the first half of 2022. Haywood just issued a buy recommendation with a target price of 6 Canadian dollars. We fully concur with this and see 6 dollars as an absolute minimum. Fury Gold Mines announced an update on target acquisition at the high-grade Percival property at the Eau Claire project as the company mobilizes crews to resume exploration activities. 15 robust gold anomalies were identified along a previously unidentified structural alignment during the recently completed biogeochemical sampling program that covered 6.5 km of prospective folded stratigraphy. These 15 targets will be the focus of further exploration as the company prepares to conduct a ground-based induced polarization geophysical survey to image the sulfide-rich, gold-bearing, siliceous breccia bodies at Percival. 
The Percival property, located 14 km east of, of the Eau Claire deposit, is currently represented by a 400 m by 100 m mineralized footprint. Historical geochemical surveys have failed to image the surface gold mineralization represented by historical drill intercepts of 93 meters at 2.2 grams gold, 9 meters at over 6.2 grams gold, 8.5 meters at over 7.1 grams gold, and 2 meters at 8.5 grams gold per ton. An orientation survey conducted in 2020 then successfully demonstrated gold mineralization at Percival through biogeochemical sampling. Well done, Fiori. Max Silver reported production of underground development and mining material from the Juana Sepio project, which is 56% owned by Fresnillo and 44% owned by Max Silver, respectively, in the fourth quarter. In the final quarter last year, Almost 114,000 tons of mineralized material was processed from both underground development and initial mining operations. Mineralized material processed in this quarter represents approximately 45% of all tons processed for the year ended by 31st December 2021. Total Juana CPU production for the quarter based on preliminary estimates prior to the offtake agreement adjustments was 1.63%. 2 million ounces of silver and almost 4,000 ounces of gold. During the year ended 31st December, a total of 252,000 tons almost of mineralized material was processed pri prim primarily through underground development, resulting in 3.2 million ounces of silver and 6,577 ounces of gold. Well done also here. Max Silver. Associated lead and zinc production will be reported with Max year end reports. Until the Juanacipio processing plant is commissioned, mineralized material from Juanacipio will be processed at the nearby Fresnillo processing plant with lead and silver bearing and zinc concentrates processed at market terms under offtake agreements with Metmax Peñolas. Included in the 47,220 tons processed in December 2021 were 8,725 tons processed for the first time at Fresnillo's Sosito processing plant. The flow diagram of the Sosito plant is similar to that of the Juana Sipio plant and will provide further valuable metallurgical benefits once production begins at Juana Sipio. Revenues from current production, net of processing and treatment charges will be used by Juana CPU shareholders to offset initial capital requirements for the project. We also see this as important to generate revenue during the waiting period until the connection to the national grid will happen. Fresnio as the operator is behind it at full speed. Please note the disclaimer that appears. The stocks discussed are may become part of the SRC Mining Special Situation Certificate. Thanks for watching us and bye bye from Switzerland.